Uh, what we have here is a, a rocket water heater. And I'm getting better at not saying it's a rocket hot water heater because once the water's hot, why would you need to heat it? But um, uh, this is our only pressurized tank and we're perpetually talking about how to convert it over to a non-pressurized system. Do you guys understand why you don't want to mix whiskey with pressurized water? No, okay. Bad. So we call it, we call it boom squish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, Mythbusters had this amazing episode where they took a conventional electric hot water heater and uh, they, uh, they uh, took out the thermostat. So it was just going to just directly heat. They bypassed the thermostat. And then there was a pressure regulator, which some people, they have the, the hot water heater and there's this little spigot that comes out. And that's the, where the water comes out if the pressure gets too high. And some people go and they buy a little cap to put on that. And they put the cap on it. Because it's like, I don't want water here. No. And in fact, I've seen it dripping water here. I don't want it here. So they cap it. So that's what they did. They capped it. And then they got behind this whole safety glass thing that they brought in. And uh, they gave it some juice. And then sure enough, in time, it exploded. And so they put it in a conventional building. They made like a small building that was built to code. And they put, no, there's nothing in it but the water here. The building was obliterated. And they waited about a minute, not quite a minute, and they started walking out there like, and they said, this is the biggest explosion we've ever had on this show. And while they're piecing through stuff, just a little few feet off was a big clang. It was the water heater. It went thousands of feet up into the air and while they're like standing around it came back down just to give you an idea of what you're dealing with here and what you're working with here so wood heat and pressurized systems man you got to be careful because you're dealing with some super explodey stuff and uh, I think it's a bad idea for us to even demonstrate that we're doing it because even though experts did you know, contribute to this to make sure it's super duper duper safe, uh, I think there's actually two pressure relief valves on this, then uh, it's, it's like too many people look at this and they're gonna like, I'm gonna make one of these. And I'm kind of thinking like, we should really stop demonstrating that. <laughs> so, um, but for now it's a fully pressurized system. And uh, I think that usually uh, you'll run, uh, you'll, you'll, run a burn wood in this for about 40 minutes and it's enough uh, hot water for, I don't know, maybe eight people to take a shower if they're probably doing coolest. Does that sound about right, Josiah? Six. Six, okay, six people. Um, and then if you're gonna do more than six, maybe just another 20 minutes of, of yeah, okay. And, uh, but it's, it has been, it has worked really well. And uh, uh, this is, I think, version three of this. Uh, we have overhauled it twice to get to this point. Notice the much taller riser that's on it. Uh, I think that's a big part of what really makes it effective. And of course, the stratification chamber on it is even more stratifica stratification chamber-esque. The uh, part where it draws from the bottom is even lower, so we get more heat to it. And, and uh, even still, we've got people that are full of ideas about how to make this particular system better, but I I'd like to try to transition towards something like the water heater we have down there, which is unpressurized. So there's lots of conversations around that. So um, this is an unpressurized system. So basically it's like there's a giant pot in there that's open at the top. Down here you can see the wood feed for the rockety bit. And then there's a riser that comes up to about here. And then hot gases from the burn hit the bottom of that giant pot. So this is insulated on the outside. So there's this space where the hot gases can go around the entire uh, uh, container of water and then uh, come out. And then of course, it's got uh, a stratification chamber element to it. So we're extracting the heat from low and putting that out. So the hottest gases stay in there and continue to heat that water. Now what we do is, is that we can add water to the system. I don't know if this is on right now, it shouldn't be. But um, 
we could add water to the system. And when it pushes water into the system, then it displaces the hot water, which then pours out of the top into this pipe, and the hot water comes out there. It is an unpressurized system.